Hello, Grayson North, and viewers everywhere. Welcome to Night's News. I'm Andrew Fredericks. And I'm Javen Coleman. And we have the news that matters in North. Knights, it is my goal that this first story gets the newscast off to a great start so it won't be dragging on. Are you running for office or something? Further, I hope we will all be unified, yet feel free to march to the beat of our own drummers. Wait, wait, wait. Dragon? Marching? Drummers? Are you trying to introduce our story about marching band? That I am. The band is looking fantastic this year. Not to toot my own horn or anything. Just roll the story. Hi, I'm Andrew Fredericks. I'm Trevor Smaling. And I'm Javen Coleman. And, and we're, we're with Nice News. Today we're going to be showcasing the GNHS Marching Knights and their season show, Dragon. The show, aptly named Dragon, features music from How to Train Your Dragon and Games of Thrones, along with several thematic motifs from pop songs, led by Dr. Candace Edstrand with drum majors McKenna and Emily. Like years prior, the marching band has been practicing rigorously to prepare for this year's show. This includes the year's soloist, Braden Kubik. What is your name, year, and instrument? I'm Braden. I'm a senior, and I play the mellophone. What is it that you as an individual do in the marching band? I am a music leader for my section, as well as a soloist. What is your favorite part about being in marching band? And I really just like, you know, getting to know everyone here. We're one big familia, and the first visa plus. Who is the big kahuna? The Admiral, Lucas Adams. Thank you. What is your name, year, and instrument? I'm River Finan. I'm a junior, and I play the bass drum. What is your favorite part about being in marching band? My favorite part about being a marching band is feeling more accepted and feeling like I have a family that I can just talk to and like goof around with and play games with and not feel like I'm out of the group. That's great. Who is your favorite section? Um, my favorite section is percussion, but specifically battery. What are you most looking forward to this season? I think I'm most looking forward to the competitions because it's my first year of band and I've never really gone on like a coach bus or like a bus at all with a group and just like competed. And Who is the big kahuna? My interpretation of the big kahuna is JJC, David Jefferson Coleman. The Marching Knights continue to put more time and effort into their Dragon show as their season continues. Their performances will be held at every home football game and at a number of competitions throughout their season, including a competition at Illinois State University and Western Illinois University. Are you pretty good at thinking on your own feet? As a member of the debate team, you're supposed to be ready for any topic. Who's the president of Uruguay? Why, Luis Alberto Aparacio Alejandro Lacalle Pau, of course. Well, you are really good. Let's see how other students do when Michaela and Maggie put them on the hot seat. What's your favorite color? Um, I have a hard time to sign my favorite color, but if I had to pick one, probably blue, lighter blue. Blue. Red. Blue. What is something you hate having to pay for? I'd say gas, but I don't pay for my own gas. Uh, let's see. Tampons. I mean, I, f I feel like truly I'm a huge feminist, and I think the wage gap is just terrible. And I think that having to pay for feminine products is, is awful and it's kind of me. Uh, school. Food. Food. <laughs> what is one thing you can't live without? Uh, I'd say my phone, but I feel like I'm being forced to live without my phone at North. So probably water. I drink a lot of water. What is one thing you can't live without? Mm. My dogs and my phone. Uh, no. My family. <laughs> Basketball. What are three things you would bring to a deserted island? Water, uh, shelter, and a boat. Water, food, and my phone. A basketball, my phone, and a fishing rod. Uh, water, my phone, and a blanket. I bring a Bible. Very important to have that, especially if you know you're not coming off the island. Um, I would probably bring a plane with enough gasoline to make it back to shore. 
and then probably a trillion dollars so I can spend it when I'm back. How many continents are there? Uh, there are seven. Should I name them? Yeah. yeah? Uh, there's North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia, and Antarctica. Or Oceania. You know, Australia. Seven. Seven. Eight. <laughs> Eight. Everyone keeps telling me that senior years flies by. I've heard that too. I guess it is almost October already. For those graduating early, that means there are only a few months left. Jillian and Greta have the story. Hey Knights, I'm Greta Flieger. And I'm Jillian Schwankel. And today we're going to be asking seniors about graduating early and their future plans. So, so let's go! As we begin school, many seniors have already started the countdown to graduation, but some have less days to count than most. Today, we'll be interviewing a couple seniors and their experience with graduating. What's your name and grade? I'm Hannah Cavill and I'm a senior. Okay. What steps did you have to take to wanting to graduate early? So I had to make sure that all of my credits were completed, so I'm taking two English classes this semester. Okay. Why are you graduating early? I want to spend time with my family and I want to explore the country before I go to college. What plans do you have after you graduate early? I'm going to spend a semester in the UK with my family. Many students want to graduate early in order to travel, take a gap year, or even get a head start on college classes. My name is McKenna Campbell and I am a senior this year. Uh, what do you have to do in order to want to graduate early? Um, in order to graduate, you have to have a lot of um, meetings with your counselors um, to go over the classes that you need to take or that you haven't taken um, and go over credits. But once it's done, it's you're, you're done. What plans do you have after graduation? Um, after graduation, I'm going to be starting full time at CLC. Um, I'm going to be working at my local park district um, doing before and after school care and then as well as a pre Why are you graduating early? Um, I'm graduating early just I really took everything I needed to at high school. Um, my counselor said I would have like five open periods for next semester. So I just decided to start something new, even though it's a little early. Um, just get ahead of the game. I'm Greta Flieger. I'm Jillian Schwankel. Signing, Signing off with GNHS TV. What would you do if you needed to get information out of someone? Uh, probably ask. What if they weren't very cooperative? Oh, then I'd put them under hot lights until they broke like in those cop shows. Well, that's exactly what Andy, Steven, and Abe did, and tried to do with Mr. Holder in the premiere episode of Teacher Interrogation. <laughs> Hello, this is Andy. I'm Steven. And we're here interrogating teachers. We have Holder here. And let's begin. So, we heard in class that you go to elementary schools. Um, I haven't really gone to an elementary school since my kids have gotten out of elementary school. But I used to, to go and do physics demonstrations, yes. Hmm. I don't know what that word means. How many years left do you think of the hair? Um, According to family history, I probably won't get any more bald than I am right now, so. No mercy queen. Is Abe, our friend Abe, good at physics? I, I don't believe you have any friends. <laughs> Who's your favorite student? Um, I don't have any favorite students. I hate you all equally. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So, you're a pretty athletic person. No. Like, if you got in a fight, you could win a fight. Well, I fight, but I don't know. Athletic, no. Could you do a front flip? No, no front, front flips. No, like, like super jump? No, I don't have a super jump. I can't stop midair and then jump again. No, no double jumps, no super fly. jump. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, biggest question in the room right now. Can you give us each, like, 1,000 points extra credit? A uh, thousand points extra credit? Uh, no, I don't even know if power school goes up that high. Oh, <laughs> anyway, other okay. big question. Uh, you know this guy, right? Uh, yeah. All right. So, Show the camera. See him? What's the difference between this guy and this guy? Um, that guy looks like he still has hope in his eyes. That looks like a type of guy to not go to elementary school. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is one of the biggest questions we have. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck to a woodchuck could chuck wood? Um, if a woodchuck could chuck wood, woodchucks seem like they're pretty determined animals, so I would say a lot. 
That's probably the best answer. Probably one of the, that's probably one of the best answers. Here. I don't even know what Angle Chuck is. Well, I think that's it for today. Let's get those off of you, man. That's okay. I got it. And now, let's send it over to the sports desk. Yeah, this is the only desk we have. We can fix that with some editing and post-production. Okay, not bad. Let's volley it over to Aiden in the field. Hi, I'm Aiden Monday, and I play varsity one singles for the boys tennis team. I also manage for the girls team in the fall. So I decided to ask some people what their thoughts were on this upcoming season. This season, honestly, I'm looking forward to like seeing them go to sectionals, hopefully state. Honestly, everyone's playing really good. Um, we're all like coming together as a team, and it's like a, a really positive environment. Honestly, I really like managing with them. This season is there's a lot more people that are new to the sport, so it's a lot more like engaging. Where you have to like teach a lot of people like how to play tennis and like the rules in tennis, and it's like. It's it's still like really fun, honestly, having like all these new people playing. And last year there was a lot of like seniors and juniors. It was like everyone knew what to do. It was all like just practice there, that, and then just go to games and stuff. But this year it's a lot of fun because it's more like hands-on and more interactive because a lot of the people are like looking to like get better and they're brand new to the sport, so it's really fun. My season has gone really well. Um, I get to play doubles this year and I'm with one of my really good friends. So I'm really enjoying just that awesome connection with my friends. Um, the season is really different from last year. We have nine girls on varsity who are seniors. So just that aspect of like, this is our last year and like, we all want to go really hard. We all really want to win every game, want to win conference, want to win our tournaments. So it's definitely just different having basically all seniors. Um, the season's going well so far. Uh, we had a talented team um, and upset Warren on the JV level uh, last week, and that's a tremendous achievement so far. So those were their thoughts on this upcoming season. I'm Aiden Monday, GNHS TV, signing off. That's going to bring this episode of Knights News to a close. Tell everyone you know to check us out on the Knights social media. I'm Andrew Fredericks. And I'm Javen Coleman. Be, Be great, great, Knights! Knights. My goal got that this whoa. <laughs> oh, this is comedy gold. Uh